Okay, good morning. Welcome, folks. Uh, welcome to the Leadership Factor. Uh, excited to get started today. Today is the inaugural rollout of our video blog here, and I'm happy to interview my good friend Tracy Bish. Uh, thanks for being the very first person on this show. Happy to be your first victim. So let's just get started. Um, how many years have you been in real estate at this point? I've been in real estate now for nine years. What got you interested in real estate? I'd always been told that I should give real estate a try. Um, when I was young, my father worked for Michelin. We moved every three or four years. So I sort of grew up in the backseat of a real estate agent's car. And I always loved looking at houses. So I always looked forward to our next move so I could look at houses. Yeah. Uh, I had a young family and uh, I thought that being able to work for myself, set my own hours, I thought that that would be a really good fit for me. Later on in life, I got into interior decor, that sort of thing, loved customer service, really liked people. It just seemed like a natural fit. Tell me about some of the things that you would have uh, learned in your past life or past professions that would have, uh, that are applicable to what you're doing today. Well, thankfully I have a psychology degree. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> the biggest part of this job is learning how to, to interact with people and how to garner trust. And I worked 10 years in retail, which is, is not always easy. Um, and I think that that really helped. I think that the longer you've worked with the public, the easier that is. It's interesting because uh, some of the folks that do the best in the business, they either come from retail or they come from the hospitality industry. That's right. That. It's, you always have to find some common ground with people. Yeah. And, um, I think the wider your experience is with the general public, then it's going to be easier to do that. So you mentioned something about having a young family. Can you give me an idea on how you've managed to balance all of that? It's not easy. My kids hated my phone for years. <laughs> Every time my phone would ring, yeah. Mom, don't answer that phone. Uh, that's part of the, that's part of the part of the career unfortunately sometimes yeah. so you have to be really diligent about making sure that you schedule your family time in schedule a Friday night family night never right. book anything on a Friday night um, pick your days that are gonna work for you to schedule your family time and and stick to it so tell me about some of the challenges in the business uh... I think the biggest challenge that I face with the business is how cyclical it is there's times when you're flat out uh, you don't have time to think about anything else and then there's times when it's very quiet and you start to panic and worry about the business but the key to avoiding that cycle is just maintaining uh, your database or keeping in touch with past clients always prospecting and just making sure you have things on the go when those times are, are slow. So tell me about um, if we moved on to maybe some advice that you might give to folks that are in the business or maybe potentially contemplating a career in the business, what would be some of the things that you would suggest that they could focus on um, with respect to their real estate career? Don't be an invisible agent. Make sure people know that you're in the business. Staying in touch with people, uh, if you've been in the business for a little while, that you have a really good follow-up system for past clients. You want to work by referral. There's no question that's the best way to make a good living in this business. Chasing that elusive uh, deal is yeah. A waste of time.